All right, I have another viewer request a tutorial for you today. Have you ever wanted to make an action that someone can use, but only if they are subscribed to you? It's easy enough, right? You just go into commands and add subscribers to the user list. But what if you wanted to make an action that only one user could use if they are subscribed? Well, that is a little bit different and exactly what we're going to tackle today. In essence, the setup is pretty much the same for setting up your primary action. So let's just start with that. First thing we need to do is set up an image, video or overlay of some kind that you want to activate in OBS. So open up OBS and create a new scene and name it subscriber pop-ups. In here, create a source of your choosing, either a media source or an image and name it after your subscriber of choice. Then add in whatever media or image you would like to show when your subscriber uses their redeem. Once you have that set up, you can go over to StreamerBot and the first thing we want to do is set up a queue for these so they can't all be triggered at the same time. Unless you want OBS to have a seizure and die, then just don't make a queue. So go to the action queues tab, click queues, then right click and select add. Name the queue Subdemptions or something amazing and tick the box that says blocking and then click OK. Now go back to the actions tab and right click and create a new action and name it after the user. Set the group name to sub redeems or sub hub or sub -a dub dub or nachos bel grande. Yeah, nachos. Then click OK. In the sub actions box, you want to right click and go to OBS, hover over sources and click set source visibility state. Set the scene to subscriber pop-ups and the source to the user's redeem. And then set the state to visible and click OK. Then set a delay for whatever is practical based on the media or image you added in. So if it's a 10 second clip, 10,000 millisecond timer. No, you get it. Now duplicate the source visibility state and then double click it to change the state to hidden. Now right click inside the actions tab in that group and create a new action named nah son or something else that just says no. And then in the sub actions tab to the right, right click and go to Twitch, hover over chat and select send message to channel. Make the message say something like, you aren't subscribed fool, no soup for you or whatever. And then click OK. Next, you're going to duplicate the first action you made. OK. And put a number two at the end of it. So it should say your user's name number two. OK, cool. Then double click it to edit it and set the queue to the queue you created for these actions a little bit ago. In the sub actions tab, delete everything and add in an if else statement by right clicking, going to core, hovering over logic and clicking if else. Set the variable to is subscribed, lowercase is, uppercase s, subscribed. I'll just write that on the screen. Operator is set to equals, value is set to false, and the action will be the nah son action or whatever you named it to send a rejection letter to your redeemer. Yeah. And then under that, it should be set to break. In the else condition area, do action will be the first action for this user. And then next it would be set to continue and then click OK. If that was at all confusing, I don't apologize and I don't care. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. OK, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
If that was at all confusing, please just watch the parts that confused you over again. Give it your best effort, and if it doesn't work in the end, please reach out to me in the comments, or on my Discord, or you can stop by the Twitch channel, whatever works for you, I, I will help you. I will do my best, just, just watch the full video and give it a good old college try. I don't know anything about that, I didn't go. The last thing you will need to do is set up the command for your user and then make that the trigger for this action. So go to the commands tab, right click and select add and then create a new command. You can let your subscriber choose the name of their redeem or set it up yourself. It's up to you. In the commands box, you will type the command that will trigger. So something like uh, exclamation point Stacy's mom or exclamation point Jesse's girl or exclamation point what if Stacy's mom is Jesse's girl. <gasps> yeah. Sorry. Set the location to exact, the group to subscriber redeems, and then in the permissions area, click the user permissions, add user, and find the user to whom this redeem belongs. Then click OK. Now go back to your actions tab and click on the action with the number 2 in the name that has the if else statement in it and right click in the triggers box, go to core, hover over commands, and select command triggered. Now select the command you just created for this user and boom, that's it. You're officially done and crowned king of the Oompa Loompas. I hope this video made you laugh and pee a little, just a tiny bit and that everything works out the way it should. If you found the video enjoyable and informative, please click the like button. And to stroke my ego and fuel my desire to keep doing things like this, consider clicking that subscribe button as well. I greatly appreciate it, and for every 15 subs, I choose one random subscriber to stalk and hide under their bed at night. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. I respond before you even hit send. Or, as I said, you can reach out to me by joining my Discord. Or, you can come watch me ramble about dumb stuff on Twitch. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Central-ish. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope to see you in the next video. And as always, take care and stay safe.